I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes, because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed, as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them.
good coffee. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? What do you know about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the papers, same as you. Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps, like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. What can you tell me about Narlins? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey, and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel! You know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character's a female orthodontist. You're gonna be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... Uh, that's enough. Thanks. Do you have messages for me? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace? Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. Tell me about yourself, Grace. What do you want to know? How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books. And it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. 
What do you do after work? I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. Oh, I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it. I thought spending a few months here would clear my head. How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. Soon as I get it, I'll let you know, okay? Nothing, I guess. Never mind. So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? I can't think of anything. No, no say full of money. Three snakes in a skull. Gabriel's father painted it. What a wacky offbeat kind of guy daddy was. Gabriel doesn't need to carry that around. The books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the biggies. In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. The gargoyle has no function but sheer ugliness. Not unlike... Oh, never mind. Life is too short to talk to ugly statues. You never know it by the women you date. If I threw those pages away, they weren't worth reading. A little cold bubbly and brie cheese is about all Gabriel's fridge ever has in it. Gabriel, shut that refrigerator, please. Oh, I can smell it from here. Whimmer. All my clothes look the same, so why change them? A poster on the wall advertises Mardi Gras, the biggest party of the year in New Orleans. It's Gabriel's bed, unmade as usual. It's no use. I can't sleep. Gabriel's mini stereo isn't exactly high fidelity. Then again, neither is he. Do you have men problems? Someone put a hex on you? Call Sister Cross. Through the power of love and the Lord Jesus Christ, she can fix what's ailing you. The Creole Grand Dams will hold their annual Gardenia Festival and tea this coming Tuesday at the Sons of Burgundy Hall. Admission is free. At Giant Discount Bookstore, we discount every title 
When you see our selection and prices, you'll never want to shop with those little guys again. You're listening to KLEB in Nolens, where we play the best music 24 hours a day. I want you to take hold of your prayer clothes. Better yet, take hold of your radio and let's do a miracle. But first, I want to talk about doing what's right. Those of you who are out there listening to these radio waves of comfort, you know what I'm talking about. Every day, this program reaches out into the darkness and pulls lost souls from the grasp of the devil himself. Oh, but now I don't have to tell you that the Lord's work does not come cheap, my friends. So I want you to get up right now. Take out an envelope, fill it with whatever you can, and send it today. We both know that doing what's right. I ask you, my friends, have you done your share today? Or are you being carried by those dedicated souls who support this ministry with their generous gifts and offerings? Remember, my friends, faith that costs nothing does nothing. Simply send your gifts of faith to Reverend Bob and your name will be blessed. Hallelujah. That's it for this week, friends. Enjoy the wonderful, wonderful music and may God watch over you. The Creole Grand Dams will hold their annual Gardenia Festival and tea this coming Tuesday at the Sons of Burgundy Hall. Admission is free. I don't need to, thanks. At Giant Discount Bookstore, we discount every title 50%. When you see our selection and prices, you'll never want to shop with those little guys again. Do you... Gabriel doesn't feel like reading right now. My bathroom. I've got to get around to cleaning up in there. I don't need to, thanks. The dresser holds a meager supply of underwear and 38 pairs of mismatched socks. Let sleeping lions lie. I got that cheap at a garage sale. Always had a thing for lions. The typewriter is... Should I feel... Nah. The typewriter is beginning to accumulate cobwebs. Should I feel guilty? Nah. Can't. Writer's block. Gabriel opens a cash register to examine the take. Or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. Gabriel, that's all the change I have. Touch it and you can kiss your hand goodbye. Would I do that to you? The cash register contains about... The cash register contains about twenty dollars in small bills and change. That doesn't work that way. Gabriel doesn't want to take that with him. Gabriel plans to turn the balcony into a schmaltzy cafe if he ever gets the cash. The balcony floor needs work and is unsafe. Grace's coat is a simple but classic trench coat. Gabriel hates people with good taste. Dramatic, isn't it? Gabriel didn't eat for three weeks after splurging on that coat. He has a thing for black leather. If you try to look down my shirt one more time, I'm leaving. Just trying to refresh my memory. I know what you're trying to refresh, and it isn't your memory. Get down.
the ladder provides access to the uppermost shelves of the bookcase. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a bit scruffy. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. My spare motorcycle gloves. Those keychains were for a promo I tried once, before I realized it was hopeless. Gracie's resume. She was way overqualified. And also the only person who applied. I always had a thing for St. George. The one who slew a dragon. Yeah, it's probably bigger than this little guy, though. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Gabriel has his own bike. It's not going to look any better somewhere else. Interesting design for a trash can. Must have been on sale at Cops R Us. Hey. Hey. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? What do you know about voodoo? Me? Nothing. I'm a Catholic boy. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases. What can you tell me about Narlins? I'll tell you, I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it weren't for that one month a year, being a cop in Narlins would be a real pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. What can you tell me about Narlins? Best food in the world. You can get it right here in Narlins. Mufaletta sandwiches. Mmm, mmm. Beignets, good Cajun coffee. Yep, a man can die happy in this city. It's practically guaranteed. I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yeah, I got something for you, all right. Soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you.
I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Where is the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky-loos than are probably already there. Tell me about yourself. Who, me? I'm the desk sergeant, Frick. Why? Frick? That's right. You got a problem with that? Not at all. Tell me about yourself. You see that front door? Yeah. Well, I watch people come in. See this book? Yeah. Well, I write people's names in it, see? People that bother me. Want me to put your name in this book? Oh, I think not. That's what I thought. Tell me about yourself. I hate people who ask stupid questions. Hey, nice precinct. Think so, huh? <laughs> That's peachy. That means more to me than you could know. Here's that envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Thanks. Gabriel opens the manila envelope and finds two photographs. The photograph of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He had hair then. The photograph of Mosley was a One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene shot, a graphic close-up of a victim. The bulletin board is littered with everything from wanted posters to flyers. She's not bad. She probably wouldn't cooperate. But I wouldn't mind trying. No one goes back there until I say so, mister. Oh, sorry. Gabriel can't do that from the front lobby. The sign says the overlook's closed for repairs until June 20. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Posted on the door of the museum is a sign saying closed. Their hours list that they will open again to... The Dixieland drugstore is closed until tomorrow morning. Good day, officer. Yeah, you too. Keep moving. The 
their jazz band is pretty good. Of course, most you jazz bands face, in Norway are. You white face, geek. You want to eat my fist? The band isn't paying any attention to Gabriel. Uh, we're gonna need an ambulance. People seem to be enjoying the... He's not my type. I would if I had enough time to... A lone drummer beats out a haunting... You white-faced geek! You wanna eat hey my there. fist? Nice beat. I dig it. The drummer does not respond. The homicide team, please, attending. Hey, bro. Nice horse. A bronze statue of Andrew Jackson marks the center of Jackson Square. Cajun band, inventive as always with their instruments, is having a good old time on the lawn. Funny how it catches well, I that never. poor tap. Leave me alone, be. you, you, you man! I would if I had enough. Gabriel might need the goodwill, but he can't afford to make a donation right now. The chancel of St. Louis Cathedral consists of a raised dais, an altar, two pedestals, and a choir area. Someone is in that confessional. Gabriel will have to wait. Someone is in that confessional. Flags of the world are displayed from the upper story. A promotion of universal harmony, no doubt. Gabriel can't bend the bars. He's too big to fit through them. And ooh, those spikes on top look sharp. Mind if I use your radio? What are you, nuts? Forget it. Touchy. You white face geek, you wanna eat my fist? Benches provide a quiet spot for... Could I ask you a few questions? Not now, buddy. I'm busy. I should have noticed that. Thanks. Yeah, right.
someone is in there. The Dixieland drugstore is closed and posted on the door of the museum is a sign saying The sign says the overlook's closed for repairs until June 21st. The half grills prevent Gabriel from opening these windows. Besides, someone would see him trying. If Gabriel wants to talk to Mosley, he can go. That window leads to Mosley's office. another municipal building, but not one Gabriel has any interest in. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. 